Hello everyone, I am Vicky Espaldon, the program leader of Project Sarai or the Smarter Approaches to Reinvigorate Agriculture as an Industry in the Philippines. It is a project led by the University of the Philippines, Las Banas, and funded by the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development of the Department of Science and Technology. Project Sarai is an interdisciplinary research, development, and extension program. It makes use of the advances and innovations in science, information, technology, and technical support systems in building a nationwide framework of practical RDE-based solutions and recommendations for the agricultural sector. The recommended planting date with its corresponding potential yield constitutes the adaptive planting calendar and cropping advisories. Included also are the approximate dates of developmental stages of rice and corn. Consider this cropping advisory last May 2020 for rain-fed rice planting in Echagi, Isabela. It was recommended to start planting by July 28 when the water accumulated in the soil is expected to be sufficient for planting. Furthermore, the crops are expected to be ready for harvest by mid-October to mid-November. However, based on historical records, typhoons usually enter the country around this time and for the last two to three years, Isabela is one of the most affected provinces with significant crop loss costing them billions of pesos. The resolution is that we can present other planting dates such as starting June with the corresponding expected potential yield or the use of short-duration varieties to lessen the risk of damaging mature crops. Hello! We can never overemphasize the importance of soils in agriculture. Looking at this website, we have a farmer's farm here, designated by the arrow, and it tells us that the pH of the soil is 4.8. Now, 4.8 is a little acidic, and therefore it would require liming. With the help of Sarai, we can help farmers determine the fertility level of their soil and also determine the problem if ever they have in their field. And we can help them to solve those nutrient problems and ensure that they will have a successful growing period. Let me now introduce to you the Water Advisory for Irrigation Scheduling System or WISE. It is a technology developed by Project Sarai that aims to instill in farmers the practice of smart irrigation management that is, applying the right amount of water to crops at the right place and the right time. WISE is composed of a field unit and a computer software. The field unit is comprised of a set of soil moisture sensors a transmitting data logger, and a 5-volt solar panel. The sensors are installed underground where the crops are planted and are connected to the transmitting data logger which sends the measurement to the software via text message. In the software, a real-time monitoring of the soil moisture status of the farm is shown. If the moisture content is within the green area, the soil moisture condition is at optimum. If in the yellow area, plant experiences stress, while if the moisture reached the red area, where the plant is under extreme stress and productivity is highly affected. WISE will send an irrigation alert once the moisture content reached the yellow area. With WISE, you do not need to be always in the field to determine if the field needs irrigation. Aside from daily irrigation advisories to end users, you can also text WISE at the keyword status and it will respond with the most current irrigation decision advisory. We believe that Filipino farmers can irrigate smarter. With WISE, smarter irrigation is just one text message away. Project Sarai aims to bring the best tools science and technology can offer to the Filipino farmer. We wanted to provide him additional help aside from his liable carabao. And for this, we chose to give him the satellite. There are hundreds of satellites regularly collecting information from space. This information 
can be very useful to agriculture. The Philippines now has its own satellites, Iwata 1 and 2. With the use of satellite technology, we can now help our farmer monitor the health of their crops even without going to the field. We can even help him prepare better against drought, flood, and climate change, and even fight more effectively pests and diseases. Farm monitoring from space, what seems to be impossible, is now possible with SIMS. The Drought and Crop Assessment and Forecasting Project was initiated as a response to the risks and impacts of drought in the Philippines. It is implemented by UP Diliman together with DABSWM and DOSD Pagasa under the program Sarai. The CAF aims to assess, predict, and mitigate impacts of drought events by developing an index suitable for the detection of agricultural drought. In addition, the CAF uses both statistical and dynamical models to predict drought events six months ahead. This serves as an early warning system for decision makers and farmers to mitigate the adverse effects of drought. The CAF gets its data through the use of ground-based and satellite data. The project also conducts ground truthing activities in selected Sarai sites as well as capacity building workshops in partner SUCs. At Sarai, we have the technologies to monitor weather and crop environment conditions and provide forecasts using the Sarai Real-Time Weather Monitoring System or SRTWMS. The Sarai RTWMS can help farmers plan and decide what to do to minimize their crop production costs and to maximize their crop yields. There are 19 Sarai automatic weather stations installed across the country. These stations were installed together with our partner SUCs in their respective experimental farms. Each station can provide real-time data from the following sensors integrated to the system. The real-time data gathered by the automatic weather stations are made available to the SUCs, LGU partners, and local farmers through the Sarai portal for free. These data are also used to generate 6-day weather forecasts. Just visit the Sarai website at sarai.ph to view real-time weather data and weather forecasts of the Sarai AWS in your area. Ang SpeedTech ay isang Android application sa pag-identify ng insect pests at diseases ng Sarai Focus Crops. May tatlong paraan sa paggamit ng pest and disease identification. Una, ang pagsagot sa quiz. Pangalawa, pagkuha ng image gamit ang built-in camera ng cellphone. Pangatlo, pagpili ng image mula sa gallery. Kung nakapili na ng imahe, piliin ang kategory ng classification at ang crop kung saan ito nakita. Magbibigay ito ng tatlong posibleng identity at karagdagang impormasyon tungkol sa peste o disease, tulad ng Identification Science at Management Practice. Ang Pest and Disease Library ay compilation ng mga relevant information tungkol sa pest and disease ng bawat saray crops. Ang SpeedTech ay isa ring educational platform na magtuturo sa mga users nito ng tamang pamamaraan ng pag-identify at pag-manage ng pests and diseases. Ang SpeedTech ay naasahan ding makatutulong sa remote monitoring ng pest and disease sa bansa. Nagtatala ito ng data tulad ng GPS location kung saan naitala ang resulta, image data at top results for validation at timestamp. Maaari nang i-download ang SpeedTech mula sa Google Play Store, i-search lamang ang SpeedTech mula sa search bar, o sa Sarai portal at www.sarai.ph. By visiting the Sarai Knowledge Portal, agriculturists and extension workers can have basis for crop advisories and recommendations for rice, corn, banana, coconut, coffee, cacao, sugarcane, soybean, and tomato. On the other hand, the knowledge and capacity building component of Sarai launched its Sarai e Escuela, a series of online trainings on smarter technologies, practices, and innovations for agriculture. 
The goals are to train our target stakeholders such as the agricultural technicians and municipal agricultural officers on the Sarai developed technologies, data products, and systems and to promote its usage and adoption. Through the assistance of different government agencies and SUCs across the region, Sarai-generated knowledge can be disseminated much faster and wider to develop an army of farmers who are confident at making science-based farming decisions. We ask you to link with the Project Sarai movement and join the pack of champions in engendering a climate-smart Philippine agricultural sector for the sake of our future generations.